This week only in GTA, you can turn into an animal by eating one of these peyote plants. There are 76 different locations for the peyote plants as shown in this map. I posted this picture on my Instagram explaining more about it in the caption of that post, so be sure to go check that out for more info. They look like this and should be fairly easy to spot. If you're playing on controller, it'll start vibrating once you're near a peyote plant. When you consume the peyote plant, you will start hallucinating and pass out. And then, you will spawn in as a random animal. After interacting with a peyote plant on land, you will turn into one of 20 land animals or birds. If you consume a peyote plant underwater, you will turn into one of 6 sea creatures. You can end the hallucination at any time, and the event also ends if you die or go in water. Or, if you're a sea creature, you'll die when you go onto land. When the event ends, you will be awarded 5,000 RP for each peyote plant, which is insane. So if you're trying to increase your level, then this is an insane way to do that. There are also two special animals that you can get through very special ways. The first one is if you consume the peyote plant by Franklin's house, there's a chance that you'll turn into Chop the Dog from GTA Story Mode. The next animal is even cooler, but is a bit harder to get. In Graveseed at the base of Mount Chiliad, there is a peyote plant that can transform you into Bigfoot. However, you need to consume it between 3am and 8am, and the weather needs to be foggy. It may sound hard to get this to happen, but there's a link in the description of this video to this website, which gives you a weather forecast for GTA. You can use this to find a time when it'll be foggy between 3am and 8am, and it'll tell you what time this occurs at in real time so you know exactly when to hop on. There's a couple of cool things you can do with Bigfoot. Bigfoot has super strength and increased health, and it can swim and use weapons, but it cannot drive or enter buildings like it can in single player. The police also completely ignores you, so you can do whatever you want. The peyote plants will only be available for one week, so make sure to make the most of it whilst they last. They'll come back eventually, but who knows when. And that's it for this video. As you guys can see, I kept it very short and concise, giving you all the info you needed in as short a time as possible. So I hope that's earned a like. I know that a lot of other YouTubers won't do the same, so I hope that I've earned a like for that. And maybe consider subscribing and watching a few more of my GTA guides in the future. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Wow.